Hello and welcome everyone to Variety Stick and we're back again for another video. In this video I will explain everything you need to know about the eSIM in all Samsung phones that has capability to do eSIM. This is the A54, has the ability to do regular SIM card and eSIM. But in this video I'm going to focus only on the eSIM. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't, give me a thumbs up and without any further ado, let's find out. Now before we go any further in this video, we need to explain a few important things. Now either you're switching from one phone to another, maybe you're upgrading, or if you purchase a new phone, has eSIM, and you want to start a new activation, there is a few things need to be done before we add this eSIM from the phone. And let me explain that to you. First, you need to provide your current carrier with the IMEI number related to the eSIM. And how you find this? You need to go to settings and you need to scroll all the way down to about and you will see two IMEI number one for a physical SIM card and one for the eSIM so you need this number when you call your carrier you can also do it online uh, call customer service or visit a store so they will register this IMEI number on the system after this your phone will be linked to this IMEI number and then you need to do the second step from the phone. Now the second step adding the eSIM from your phone. Now your phone IMEI number already registered with your carrier connected with the same phone number you have. All you have to do go to the settings and then go to connection and then SIM manager. In SIM manager you will have also two different way to complete the activation process either by clicking add eSIM and the phone will show you some carriers and you have to find your carrier tap on that carrier wait till the activation is complete or your carrier may send you specific RQ code by scanning the RQ code you should be able also to get the steps where you can complete the activation let me show you here from SIM manager add eSIM uh, if you want a RQ code just go here and then scan the RQ code or if you want to do it manually go back here and let the phone search for eSIM belong to your carrier for example we have Metro by T-Mobile, T-Mobile, US Cellular, Verizon etc or you can even add it manually if you like but I would prefer if the carrier doesn't show here to have them send you uh, RQ code it would make the process a lot easier after you finish you should be able to use your phone with the same phone number you have maybe the eSIM which is I believe it's kind of confusing right now because uh, the carrier not prepared 100% yet and there is some uh, problems on the system for activating the eSIM. Since I work in a cell phone company I had all kind of problems and this is why I'm making this video to explain to you how to use the eSIM without any problems. A lot of people don't know how to do it. Now you should be able to know by all these steps I provided to you in this video. And I hope you find it helpful. If it did, thumbs up and subscribe for more here on Variety Stick. Thank you so much for watching. As always, we will talk to you in the next video. Let's go. Yeah. I'm like an addict, do I gotta have it? I ain't even playing, got a really bad habit If it moves, gotta grab it Fuse like a magnet Lose, won't have it Till I'm doomed in a casket I ain't playing, got a